Hey guys, Coach Kim here from Windsor CrossFit. I'm here to talk to you today about the importance of glute activation and glute strength. Before we begin to strengthen your glutes, we have to see if your glutes are firing properly. So there's an assessment that we can show you and you'll need a friend to help you out and that will dictate whether or not your glutes are firing first. All right guys, so what we're looking for in your glute assessment, um, you're gonna be laying down on your stomach if you're the one getting assessed and you're gonna have a friend place one hand on your lower back, my pinky on his hamstring and my thumb on his glute muscle and I'm gonna have him extend his leg. So his knee is gonna stay straight and he's just gonna lift his leg up as far as he can and relax. Awesome. So his leg's gonna stay straight, he's just gonna lift it up without bending his knee, just extend his hip, so lift his hip upwards. So what I'm looking for is that his glute is firing first. What you don't want is the back to fire first or the hamstring to fire first. You want glute muscle closely followed by hamstring and then the back. If the back is firing first, it indicates that your back is taking over during your hip extension, which in turn could cause some lower back pain when you're doing your movements. A common movement pattern across many lifts, whether it be Olympic lifts, um, deadlift, any type of squat, a kettlebell swing, is hip extension. So when we ask for hip extension, we're asking for a stacked or a neutral position at the top of your movement. So if I have Dan go back, go down to the bottom of his deadlift, and he comes through his deadlift, knees extend, hips extend. At the very top, his shoulders, hips, knees, and ankles are all stacked in alignment. His trunk is nice and tight, his core, and his glutes are turned on, so he's squeezing his glute muscles. What we don't want, if he goes back to the bottom of his deadlift, is him to extend his knees and extend his back. So this is bad, this extension in his lower back. This type of movement pattern is gonna cause the brunt of the load of your lift to be held by your lower back, as opposed to closing in your trunk and having your trunk and your glutes bear the weight of the lift. So if you did the earlier assessment and you found that your glutes weren't activating properly, so you found that your lower back was firing first, this is gonna be a super basic movement that you can do to start to turn your glutes back on so you can strengthen them down the road. So um, you're gonna set up in what you would call uh, maybe a sleeping position. You're gonna be on your side. Everything is nice and relaxed. So for this movement, Dan is gonna keep his feet together so they're stacked on top of one another. And he's just gonna lift his knee up to my hand. Good, and then come back down. So that would be one rep. You wanna try to do a 10 to 20. I'm gonna place my hand on the small of Dan's back because if he is lifting his leg and I'm feeling any pressure in my hand, that means he's using his trunk to rotate and using his lower back to perform that movement. What we want is for him to come back. His back should stay where it's at and just his glute should fire to lift his leg. I'm gonna have Dan set up in a squat stance, so just outside hip width. He has a band around his, uh, just above his kneecap. You wanna make sure it's not on your kneecap. He's gonna be in an athletic position, so in a quarter squat, hands up and his trunk is nice and flexed. And most importantly, his, he's driving his knees out against that band. So the tension of the band is gonna wanna bring your knees back in, but he's resisting that motion. From here, he's gonna take short choppy steps out to the side, um, pressing his knees out the entire time. So again, we don't wanna allow his knees to collapse in because his glutes aren't gonna be working. We need to press out against that band and get his glutes firing. So that repeated use of this exercise will build strength in your glutes over time. Hope you guys enjoyed those glute activation tips and glute strengthening tips from Coach Kim. And until next time, as usual, we will see you in the box.